The stock market did a lot of churning last week as hope and fear fought out ahead of Fed Chair Jerome Powell's speech at Jackson Hole. All along, oversold conditions were looming. Here is my favorite technical indicator, AT50, percentage of stocks trading above their 50-day moving average. You can see that it is looming right over that oversold line at 20%. As a result, the S&P 500 is churning underneath the 50-day moving average resistance, which is that red line, and now it's converged with 20-day moving average resistance, which is the dotted line. Same thing for the NASDAQ. This is an ominous bearish pattern, and with oversold conditions looming, uh, it suggests that these indices are biased lower for the short term. And then the small uh, caps represented by IWM have been churning along above the 200-day moving average as support. Breaking through that will be very bad. So I have a bunch of stocks that are in weakened modes. Opera Limited fell 15.3% post earnings. It looks set to test 200-day moving average. Read my blog for more on that. Uh, Dick's Sporting Goods, it is looking really bad for that stock. It gave up all of its, almost all of its gains for the year after plunging 24.1% post earnings. Charles Schwab Corporation looks like it's confirmed its 50-day moving average as resistance, sorry, as a breakdown after looking promising post earnings. First Solar is struggling to hold its May post earnings lows. And this was looking good, but now I pan back and it's just chopping around and now it's in a bearish position under the 200-day moving average. Zoom Video Communications, I must have an unhealthy obsession with this one. Sure, it's bottomed as well as a lot of stocks have this year. It's just churning along here after rebounding from earnings weakness. Foot Locker looks big time in trouble. I think this is its lowest close in, uh, I think, 13 years or so. It crashed essentially after earnings again. And another crash here for Domo, a data analytics platform. It's back at its pandemic low. This is looking really bad, and I'm wondering about its business. So you can find more details at drduru.com slash 122, or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel to get glimpses into my writing. Take care. See you next time.